Item number. SCP-1079. Index. Doctor Wondertainment's Bubble Bath Bonbons. Object class. Safe. Special containment procedures. All instances of SCP-1079 are currently stored within containment locker 1079 at site 19. Furthermore, watchlist databases are to be updated with SCP-1079's information in order to intercept any new shipments which may appear in the future. Description SCP-1079 is the designation given to a number of suites brightly labeled Dr. One Detainment's Bubble Bath Bonbons. Currently, the Foundation has crates of SCP-1079 in containment, originally containing 64 packets each. The label on each packet provides the name of the product and two warnings. Not suitable for children under three years, and only one suite is to be taken per sitting. In addition, it lists negative percent daily values of several nutrients, vitamins, and minerals, none of which are present in SCP-1079. Human subjects report tingling sensations immediately after the consumption of SCP-1079. 10 to 15 seconds later, the subject's own blood is secreted as pink, bubblegum-scented foam from the subject's pores on their abdomen, arms, and back. The total volume of blood secreted in this way is typically from 30 through 50 milliliters and does not pose an immediate health risk. The volume of blood secreted increases exponentially as more pieces are consumed. Bubbles form in the subject's blood as a consequence of the SCP's intended function, causing the subject's blood to boil. Death by exsanguination occurs in 95% of subjects who have consumed four or more candies in one sitting. Exsanguination is compounded by foam collecting in the lungs of the consumer. After standardized animal testing was conducted, it was found that SCP-1079's effect scales with the consumer's body mass. Addendum Since its initial discovery in 1990, deliveries have been made to various supermarkets globally. Attempts to trace these deliveries back to a distribution center or supplier have been unsuccessful as of 2005.